What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. This week's song of the week goes to John Connor for his new record titled I'm Back. John Connor signed to Aftermath a few years ago. And since then, he really hasn't done much. He's been kind of in the shadows. Dr. Dre's record for really like molding talent was kind of less than stellar. And I know what you're saying. He gave us Eminem. He gave us the game. But that's just two people under Aftermath. Think of Truth Hurts, Gage, Bishop Lamont. Hell, Joel Ortiz was once signed to Aftermath. There are plenty of artists who never amounted to anything under the reign of Dr. Dre. So, I was skeptical. And I still am skeptical. Because John Connor isn't out of the woods yet. He's still under Aftermath, still kind of sitting on the shelf. But I'm Back gives a lot of hope that we'll finally get his debut album in 2018, Vehicle City. Overproduction by Cool and Dre, Smitty Beats, and 808 Ray. John Connor swiftly reminds us who he is. At heart, John Connor is a lyricist, all caps. So on I'm Back, he really just flexes the lyrical muscle. He doesn't sit here and try to make like a hit single. This isn't a song that's likely going to be on the album. This is one of those records that will generate buzz for him. That'll get people talking. It'll make the fans happy and hopefully make new listeners want to check out his past catalog and get excited for his debut album. Dr. Dre is featured on the record, but only with the intro, some ad-libs throughout the song. That's it. He, it's not like he has a verse or anything. He's just on there playing like the hype man. He says 2018 is going to be John Connor's year, and I truly hope that he means that. I mean, Dr. Dre heard I'm back. So he knows the potential of the artist that he signed. So on this record, in a little over three minutes, John Connor just really goes off. I think if you're a fan of lyrics and breaking down each line and going through songs multiple times to catch everything that's being said, this is the type of record that you're going to have a lot of fun with. I mean, John comes out blazing. He says, look, this year's election was trash, so I need therapy bad. These rappers is gassed. These rappers is actors in this movie terribly cast. We also get two, count them, two wrestling references. One is about Matt Hardy and his broken slash deleting gimmick. And the other is this Lord Steven Regal against Ricky Steamboat. This Lord Steven Regal against Ricky Steamboat. History lesson, for those of you who aren't big wrestling fans, or for those of you who are wrestling fans that might not get the reference, in 1993, WCW, Lord Steven Regal and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat faced each other multiple times, and every match was really good. Now, this feud wasn't huge by any means, but if you did happen to watch any of the matches, you probably were impressed, or if you watch them today, you'd be impressed. There was a lot of technical moves going on and they showed that they had chemistry and so John is essentially saying that I'm back is as technical as their feud was at least that's my interpretation of it after listening to I'm back I'm even more excited for Vehicle City I feel like Dr. Dre hopefully understands that he has a huge potential talent on his hands this guy can not only just really rap his ass off but he can also make songs he's not like maybe on a kendrick level per se but he's good enough to not have to sit on the shelf and i think dre being as enthusiastic as he is on i'm back knows this if 2018 is the year of john connor then vehicle city definitely needs to have a proper backing it needs to have a strong rollout campaign Everybody needs to know about John Connor. Now, I don't know what the plan is going forward, but in a perfect ideal world, I would say that it, here's an idea that I would do or try to do. If I were Dr. Dre in Aftermath, I would put stock into a John Connor and Anderson Pack record. 
simply because both of them are signed to Aftermath. And if you can get a hit record with both of them, then A, that helps John with his debut album. And then whenever Anderson Pack comes out, it'll be easier because he'll be more familiar to a lot of different people around the world. You have a hit record and it opens up so much. And so I look at it like that would be the ideal thing that I would try to do. Obviously, artistically and creatively, it's not as simple as that. Also financially, but in the ideal world, that is how I would help John Connor propel himself to, uh, or propel him to a bigger level where more people know and that the album won't be a flop. Musically, you know it's going to be good, but sales-wise, it's kind of up in the air. So that was my song of the week, John Connor's I'm Back. Listen to this one, play it loud, play it over and over again, catch all the lines that are being said. Um, let me know what you think about this record in the comment section below, as well as any songs this week that you heard that were stellar that you feel other people should hear. I definitely want to listen to some more music that I might have overlooked. So drop those in the comment section below and then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain, and as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching, and until next time, peace.